Hello everyone, welcome to the course by NPTEL on Nuclear Astrophysics. This is a 8 week course which has already started from 20th, 20th February and the discussion session is going to start from 4th March and the discussion session will be up to 22nd April 2023. This is a 8 week course where we will discuss intensely about, intensely about nuclear astrophysics which is a subtopic of astrophysics and this is a week zero video where we will not discuss about some rigorous topics rather I will just shortly introduce the course. This is the nuclear astrophysics course and the course instructor is Professor Anil Kumar Gauri Shetty from IIT Rurki and I am your TA Nilakshi Shalapati from IIT Kanpur. And the problem solving and doubt clearing session will be on every Saturday 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And we will join via Google Meet link which I will share with you. And I think, uh, uh, not I think, actually this uh, Google Meet link has already been shared with you by NPTEL and SWAM portal. Uh, uh, with uh, this link you are going to join every Saturday to join this discussion session and uh, in this discussion session we will uh, discuss about problems which you are going to solve in your assignments. These problems are important to you to get the idea where you are going, what you are going to solve in your assignments as well as in the examination. So let us discuss about the details of this course a bit. This is an elective course and the books which are recommended for this course are given in this slide. Many of you have already started asking about the books that what books should you follow you should follow. First of all the books names are the uh, Nuclear Physics of Stars by Christian Eliades. Second is the uh, Cauldrons in the Cosmos Nuclear Astrophysics. And the third is the principle of stellar evolution and nuclear synthesis by D.D. Clayton. These are the recommended books which is already written there in the SWAM portal and you can find the details of it. You can start reading these books and seeing the videos. I hope many of you have already started seeing the video as you, have got, you guys have already started asking the questions in the group discussion portal of so I am more NPTEL and I am very glad to see that you guys are very enthusiastic and I start heartily that uh, we will be involved, we'll, we'll involve in this course as this will go through, it will, it will go on and uh, we will enjoy the course. As for, as for uh, like uh, exam, uh, like what is going to be your exam, what is the exam details? So let us discuss about that. Uh, the date of your examination is 29th April 2023. Whoever is thinking about giving the examination and get a certific uh, certificate from NBTL, the registration deadline is 17th March 5 p.m. And the examination will be in two halves, morning session and uh, Afternoon session. Morning session is from 9 a.m. to 12 noon and afternoon session is 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. So <clears throat> now let us uh, start some discussion today. As this is not a uh, so not, not so um, week one discussion, this is just a week zero your bonus video. So we are not going to discuss much details about this. I am just going to Tell what is nuclear astrophysics and why is this important. I hope many of you have already seen the videos and go through the SAM portal and the NPTEL course details. So you guys must know that what is nuclear astrophysics and that's why you are enrolled here. And the thing is nuclear astrophysics is the union of nuclear physics and, and, and astronomy. Which is a very important and interesting subtopic of astrophysics. Why we are going to discuss this? This discipline has proved that it has the potential to categorize the condition at the core of the star and provide information of energy production from stars, nuclear synthesis and stellar evolution. So to know the stellar evolution, the birth from the date and what is going inside the core of the star, to know the stellar astrophysics, 
it is very important to know the nuclear astrophysics and the development of the nuclear physics is, has also was also involved with the development of the astrophysics we will get to know all these details all these details as uh, you will uh, go through more and more videos so the most helpful things uh, is the are the videos which you should follow obviously then the books uh, and the third thing is this discussion session this discussion session will help you to solve the assignments also now let us go through some some very preliminary problems of class class 2 levels this are very very uh, like uh, ground level questions which are not so involved in this course but you need to know these things because these are the very basic things so first question is given here that the, it's given here that uh, which process generates energy in the sun that is nuclear fusion so this question i have given there because uh, uh, the nuclear fusion and nuclear fission these are the concepts that you need to know in details then the second thing is that the uh, one second next question is the sun mainly consists of which element that is the hydrogen then from hydrogen we will get to helium and all those pp chain cno chain you will get to know in this course then the third question is telling nuclei of helium normally contain how many neutrons the answer is 2 this is very basic question of 12th level question fourth question is which fundamental particle is used for fission in uranium many of you have all is already aware about this that neutron is that fundamental particle and those who are not aware they will be aware about this by the uh, by the time fifth question is telling nuclear fusion generates more energy per nuclear than nuclear fusion is this true or false let us read the question once again nuclear fusion generates more energy per nuclear than nuclear fusion is this true or false this is false because we have already seen that the which process generates energy in the sun nuclear fusion and that is a that is the source of the energy of the sun so nuclear fusion is not generating the more energy so this is a false statement so these are the very basic level questions just to give you a pre notion that you should uh, remember these things or revisit these things you can uh, revisit these concepts and uh, start seeing the videos watching the videos and uh, we will discuss about these things from 4th march onwards so i hope uh, the discussion session will be very helpful for you and uh, and whenever you find any question please write into the chat box and uh, uh, always there is uh, the por uh, the portal of swam where you can write any time anything any questions we will obviously try to answer your questions and the uh, the process has already been started and i am very glad that you are asking many questions and uh, we will learn this question and enjoy this question uh, enjoy the, uh, learn this question learn this concept and enjoy this course and by the end of the course we will be uh, learning nuclear astrophysics okay so thank you for joining and uh, hope to see you from week 1 onwards thank you